As uh, you can readily imagine, um, there was a new show that started on uh, ABC tonight called uh, Last Resort. And if you haven't seen it, uh, please check it out because it's worth the watch. Um, but it premiered tonight at um, 8 o'clock on ABC. And basically what it's about is it's about this the crew of the uh, of the submarine the USS Colorado uh, they get um, they're ordered to fire on a uh, on pa this fired tomahawk missiles at uh, Pakist targets in Pakistan now what happens is that these t uh, this call to uh, to launch the missiles came through a uh, secondary channel and not from you know the I get the the high command in the in the Department of Defense so um, or the president for that matter so basically what happens is that uh, th is that they're set to fire but they're waiting awaiting confirmation well when awaiting confirmation uh, Captain Marcus Chaplin is relieved of his command, and his second in command is ordered to take over. However, when se the second in command takes over, and he and they again refuse to fire, the and they, they ask and he asks for confirmation. They are attacked. Uh, they're hit by a, a, a cruise missile that, as that everybody else is that the government is blaming on Pakistan but it was actually fired by the USS Illinois a fellow uh, attack sub that was in the uh, Pacific Ocean at the time or Indian Ocean at the time so what happens is that these uh, that these uh, guys take a refuge on an island uh, called I think it was called Santa Mar Maria Santa Marina something like that and uh, they take over a NATO base uh, operation center, and they um, and so what they do is uh, they um, they take it over, and they make a video explain you know explaining the situation to the American public you know and as well as to their families to let them know. Uh, that we are alive, and because previously everybody thought that, you know that this attack was by Pakistan, that everybody on board was killed. No, the sub is actually pretty much intact, and only 12 people were killed. Now, so they they're letting everybody know that they're okay, and that what they were really trying to do was see what the hell was going on in Washington, because they were you know this is a strange type of a thing going on. And now they're being labeled. Right now they're being labeled as traitors to the United States instead of heroes, and they're on this island and they're going to wait it out, and um, until the you know they can so that they can prove their innocence and prove that they are true heroes instead of traitors. It's a, a very kind of a, a, it's kind of a little hard to follow, but um, you, you kind of you kind of have to watch it full you know watch keep a close eye on it to really grasp anything about it but it's um it, it's very interesting it, it was I, it kept my attention i actually found it very good and it's uh just kind of something that you know I, I that i would recommend if you like if you're into especially if you're into dystopia like i am um because and frankly i kind of think it predicts uh it, it kind of sets up a good scenario for you know what I fear that the government's trying to do to us. And what I love was the quote, and I'm going to use the quote where he says that we love our country, we would gladly die uh, to represent it, uh, but we do not obey a government that tries to murder its own. <laughs> and I love that quote, and I'm probably going to use it a lot now, but because it's true you know for any revolutionary for anybody that you know is into it we love our country just not necessarily our government because it tries to kill innocents so <laughs> great great 
it was a great show, and I look forward to seeing it. I hope it gets picked up for another season afterwards. But it's just a great show, and um, and it kept my attention, and that, which is really hard to do for a show. Um, and yeah, I'm definitely on board with it. I'm definitely my favorite character is definitely Captain Chapl uh, Chaplin, and uh, I'm definitely rooting for the USS Colorado crew. So it's definitely a definitely a spot on performance. Uh, I the guy. Um, and all these people that are quite a lot of the people that are in it are not even well-known actors but they put on a hell of a performance and I and so again I recommend it so I'm Norcal Nick leader of the revolutionist movement and this has just kind of been a review so I don't so but I want to thank you guys for listening anyway peace so I crossed my heart and I hope to die Stay with you one more night